you know, when I die, Sasha, if you want to bury me here, that's cool. <laughs> Look what I'd be looking at every day from my grave. Yeah. A boy. We got a boy. Frenchman. These are weird. A Frenchman. A wool cock. Boston. Died in 1875. Here's one from 1870. 65? Yes. John oh, wait. C. Anderson. 67. He was killed by a horse on the 5th of July, 1867. That's sad. Infant. He's inside us. A.B. Blackhawk born in 1843. Died in 1897, age 53, nine months and six days. Native of Missouri. James Morgan, his wife. Very, very much. Very. I'm trying to read it, it's hard to read. Ashes, that's a hmm. cremated. Can't read that one at all. It's completely worn off. This is Forrest S. Townsley. 1882 to 1943. This one, um, it's interesting how they put the cause of death on some of these. Sadie Schaefer drowned in the rapids on July 7th, 1901. Native of Wisconsin. Here's a real old one. 1881. I'm trying to read. This is so hard to read. Can't figure out that one exactly. This guy's William. Looks like Bone. Can't tell exactly. He died in 1902. Oh, he's young because he was born in 1893. So he's only. Nine years old. Got these real old ones here. Daughter of Yosemite, born Yosemite, 1867, died 1956. That one's not. This one just has initials in it. Certainly not a bad place to rest. This one here says the guy's a war veteran. Mexican war veteran. He died in 1881. And this is Albert May. He's from Ohio, died in October 23rd, 1881. 51 years old. That's a pretty amazing headstone considering the age of that thing. And this guy must have been quite a powerful man. You can barely read it. Died May 22nd, 1875. Age. 
Looks like 58. When you see something like this that long ago, that means you got power. This one's nice. Someone put some um, flowers here. I can't tell. Remember, Hazel. Daughter of something. I can't see that. It's hard to tell. She died in 1905. Looks like this is a husband and wife. Gabriel died in 1938 and his wife Rosie died in 1928 so she died before him. <laughs>